So now for the conclusions of the topic modeling part of this lecture. So it is related to clustering. The topics are often comparable to cluster centers. So what was the center vector in spherical k-means is kind of the word distribution in LDA, except one is normalized as an L2, the other one is L1 normalized, you know, negative. But um, they have a similar purpose, and to the user, they are quite similar in their use. Now, documents may belong to multiple topics, but most clustering algorithms, such as k-means, perform a hard partitioning and put every item into one cluster. That is not convincing for um, topic modeling. That is why we would be more interested in the soft clustering type of approaches when applying them to text. Nevertheless, the algorithms share a lot of ideas. So we had, for example, the EM principle up here several times. In clustering, it would be used with Gaussian mixtures. In topic modeling, we would be using multinomials or binomials, for example. Even LDA with variational inference, we would be doing some type of EM optimization. So um, it is always very common if we are working with probability distributions, then EM is popular. Some of the algorithms can have um, a particular customization for text and that tends to make them better. For example, you might be able to um, exploit sparsity. So spherical k-means by using the dot product, it runs faster because it uses sparsity in a more clever way than in regular k-means. And in LDA, we would have the priors that say a model that has a sparse distribution is a better fit that is also um, adaptation for text that is based on human um, interpretation of what is a topic. We can't prove that a Dirichli prior is better. It is a choice that we make. Nevertheless, it's a choice that we want to make and that is supposed to improve the results. Now, these methods are quite expensive. So scalability does eventually get an issue. I did not touch the different ways to make the collapse Gibbs sampling, for example, run faster for a large number of topics. So even the, the uniform random sampling in there is worth of optimization because we need to do it for every word in each iteration. So we need to do a lot of uniform sampling, of random sampling, weighted sampling, and we can optimize this. So there are scaling this to really large data sets is still quite some work, but there has been a number of publications on this subject, of course. And evaluation is a major challenge. If you're interested in that, there were a lot of references in the previous section, like the Reading Tea Leaves paper that uh, probably a good starting point on this subject. Now for the remaining 10 minutes, we will move on and we will begin a new part. <laughs>